Hey everybody, welcome back to Covers and Commentary, and welcome back to another episode of Drummer Reacts, and I am so excited, because number one, hopefully this video is not going to have copyright issues like the one that was supposed to be out on Monday, but two, The Cost, the band with uh, El Estepario Severiano as the drummer, has a new song out called Into the Drone, and their first song was great, and I guess they really weren't kidding about having a lot of songs lined up, so we're going to listen to this to round out the week. I am so excited, so without further ado... Let's go. Come on. Ooh. Oh, okay, now, okay. <laughs> yes! Oh my god, I'm going back and listening to that whole opening. Holy crap. So they... Wow. So we didn't get the crazy drumming in the first song, which is fine, because it didn't need it in the first song. But holy crap. That... Oh. That light... Like, you can hear just the lightest drum roll. Oh, that wasn't a drum roll. I think he was. I think he was rolling on a cymbal or maybe the hi hat. Oh, that. Oh, and the double bass. <laughs> this, is, this is awesome. Oh man. Something they're something they're doing in that middle. We're gonna listen to that all again. Something they're doing here, they're letting the drums breathe in the middle is a dun 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 and then they stop and then it's just the drums that's kind of an interesting way of doing that but but it's it's not just obviously the drums as the focus they're using it to kind of focus on the vocals because even with the drums being the only instrument being played alongside the vocals for those little breaks what's cool is that he's dialing it back to basically just be the hi-hat and snare and then right before the rest of the instruments kick in that's when he starts using the bass drum so it it gives a bit more like of a, a lighter feel to to the heavier bits when there's a break. That's kind of cool. Like, yeah. Also, his little accents are just great. <laughs> Half time, baby. Ooh. Oh, chorus. Wow. Okay. Whoa. All right, that was the end of the... That's an interesting end of the chorus, just going back just a couple seconds here. That's a really just smooth transition into the chorus. You don't get like the normal, really heavy, just like, bam, back into the chorus. Is he does the dance, 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 like that kind of thing. He's going off the crash ride and crash, China and uh, China and uh, hi hats and bots, and then just da, 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 right back into the into the. Well, I guess that would technically be just before the verse, but still, I want to hear that chorus again. His voice, like they've got harmonies going now with his voice, and like, can we just point out to the bassist like? When they're playing together, something really cool is that, like, obviously you've got that, like, dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun kind of, kind of riff going for the opening. But one of the things I noticed in the open here, I'm going to go back, not to play it, but, like, 
just to get to a shot I saw here. There we go. Look how high up on the bass guitar he's playing. Like, they are basically playing only maybe an octave or two apart from one another between the guitar and the and the bass, which really brings everything together. That's really cool because it gives, sound-wise, it makes everything feel kind of in sync with one another, but you you bring the bass up with the instrument, with the rest of the instrumentation. That's really cool. Oh, I went too far. I want to hear the... I want to hear that halftime drop. And something they're doing too is they're they're the strum pattern. You have the double bass, the double bass going like bounce, da, 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 like the double bass going da, 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 kind of deal, um, which I don't even think I can make. Like it's it's going quickly, but you have the guitar doing the same like kind of thing. So it just oh man, the the meld between this these these three artists is just amazing. Like everything meshes so well like obviously when you're writing a song it's like oh yeah all the instrumentation you know sounds the way it should but like in this case they are doing such a great job of keeping everybody together it's it's so good so anyway we're gonna keep going here his voice is really good too I can't, I can't get over that just smooth transition into the chorus. Like, just... And then just straight back into it, like... Oh my god, that is so clean! I love his accents. All right, so the consistency is still really good. Oh, that was an interesting like way of getting into the verses. He likes, you notice, he likes that, like, I think my camera's focus is, like, trying to stick it down in the corner. There we go. Camera doesn't like recording at night. Anyway, um... You can tell he really the uh, with the drums he really likes that like gap with nothing but the bass drum in it. Like uh, you can hear. Yeah, it's it's smaller. It's smaller in that section because like the last song you get that like kind of thing, and in this case he's he's doing like and he, like I can't even like I'm trying to. <laughs> vocalize it but like he's going all the way around the toms and then coming back to the um coming back to the double bass and just real quick yeah it's just it sounds like it was almost just triplets that's His voice is so good. Oh, yes. Oh. I was almost anticipating him doing like a, a metal scream. Like... I think there is, like, I think they're layering a bit of, like, now you're, like, something, something deeper down. Because you get that, like, now with, with the note, obviously, but it sounds, it's hard to tell if there's any, it's hard to tell how many layers this is, like, the song's built with, obviously, but, like, 
it sounds like there's a, a proper like metal scream underneath that somewhere. Just straight up crushing that halftime. Come on, give us a metal. Oh, hold on. Again. I love it. Oh, they are so good at those breakdowns. Holy crap. Let's just, I want to hear that whole breakdown again. And they 100% change time signatures there. I I can't tell what time signature that is. Oh, uh, hold on. We got Yep. We've got the band members in the forest with the light in the background shot. It's official. They're a band. They've done that shot. There we go. <laughs> Oh, band in nature. I am guilty of being in a band that has done the same thing, so I can't even hate on it. It's just it's just a thing you do. Thought you leave it all behind. Reminiscing all the time. You saw it all yet you were burned. Never breathe a word again. Look at that. Look at that speed and just how precise and light that is. Oh, <laughs> one more time. I want to hear that all again. Nope. There we go. Nope. There we go. Ooh, that's interesting, too. So lead in with the snare instead. That's a very... Uh, sort of Lars Ulrich way of, uh, of ending a fill is to, or even just using an accent instead of using the kick drum, which you're usually, a lot of times that's what they use to kind of act, like add some extra impact to the, to the symbol is just kind of thing. Um, but in this case they went with, or he went with uh, doing the snare, which works because it is kind of off time. Yeah. Also, like, this is just an amazing music video, period, but, yeah. Oh, it sounds like... Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, double it up. Come on. Metal screen, metal screen, let's do it. Oh my god, hold on, that ending. So he's doing, not to toot my own horn, but I did a song recently where I was kind of doing something similar where you're keeping time on the hi-hat and the cymbal um, while also playing, playing the snare, um, which takes a lot of coordination. Something I wanted to add in the cover that I did that I wasn't quite able to get right in the time frame that I gave myself was introducing double bass in at the end to really bump the energy, bump the accent to it. And he did that. He's like he's he's going between the China symbol and the crash ride kind of thing. And he's and he's he's going with that hi hat and snare drum all together. And then he also implements the double bass. Like like listen to this. Yeah. Yeah. Holy crap. That was epic. Oh, and we don't have like a talking bit at the end. It's just over. 
Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Like. <sighs> oh, these guys are not kidding around and they are here to stay and I am here for it. 100% here for it. That was absolutely epic. Holy crap. Hopefully you all enjoyed it too. That was a whole lot going on in one song, which I feel like is going to be a running theme with these guys. So, uh, yeah, um, I'm okay with that though. If I gotta, if I gotta pause a lot to explain things because my mind's being blown by it, I'm down for it. I am totally down for it. More of it. <sighs> with that, um, I have nothing more to say. Hopefully you all enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely make sure to leave it a like. Subscribe here if you want. Obviously, if you want to see more stuff like this every Monday and Friday, 9.30 a.m., assuming that there is no copyright issues with stuff that I'm trying to post, because that's always a fun thing. And, of course, as always, if you want to watch this video without me pausing and talking all the time, uh, why'd you click on a reaction video? But in all seriousness, go ahead and check in the description. I leave the channel that made the content that I watched here, as well as the content I watched itself, so you can go support them, show them some love, tell them I sent you, tell your mom, say, tell your mom I said hi, I don't care. Either way, that has been it. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Thank you again for being here, and have a good one.